Hello, my name is Darren Coffin, and I'm the author of this tweet. Um, I heard about a busted TV by a family member on Christmas Eve. So on Christmas Day, I asked to see it, and they showed it to me. And as I took in this picture, you can see it is infected by this FBI, I guess it's common, FBI common malware. Now, this fit my narrative, which I've complained about for a long time about smart TVs um, and issues I've had with them. Um, plus, this TV used to be owned by me. I was the original person who purchased it, but it's not my TV anymore. Um, so I posted this tweet just ranting, and I had no idea that it would explode and um, people retweeting it. I've never had anything close to this, but I think it's almost half a million impressions at this point. Um, and I got a ton of advice, a ton of um, help. And um, the last two days, I've even gotten some help from LG themselves. And I and they've given me what I thought didn't exist, which is the factor reset for this TV. So what I wanted to do was demonstrate the problem, and I'm going to try out their solution, and we'll see what happens. So this is the TV, which I've brought to my house. And just to show that um, I know a lot of people said I was faking this somehow. Uh, I'm going to show the problem. Um, now this TV, I think I purchased it in 2012 or 2013, I can't remember. Oh, sorry, it's unplugged. Let me plug it in. <clears throat> so I purchased this TV. It was one of the first uh, Google TVs, I guess, that were out there. And um, I liked the idea at the time. Just turning it on. Um, Honestly though, I just like the remote. Um, it has a little mouse pointer in it. Um, it had Netflix, it had some basic stuff in it. So at the time I thought it was a really neat idea. And for, for the most part, it's a great TV. I mean, I, I loved it. Not really for its smart features, but it has a swivel. Um, swivels are nice. Um, it was always annoying because while the TV loads, like this is a working TV right now, but an the Android operating system hasn't loaded, so you can't do anything with it. Always drove me nuts, but I mean, you have to sit and wait for Android to load. And, um, and yes, the saying, I know people were saying I faked this somehow, but these TVs ran on Android, um, I guess before LG switched to WebOS. Um, I swear this TV was printed with Google somehow on it, on the remote or something, but, um, yeah, at the time, this, I thought this was supposed to be a neat thing. Um, I know this takes a while. Imagine you're waiting to try to flip this to a DVD or something. You have to sit and wait for it to boot. All right, so Android finally booted, and then the malware kicks in. And this is the common FBI, um, I don't know what you call this, but it's just trying to trick you into thinking that um, the FBI's got you. You know, this is ransomware, I guess, but I don't think they actually released your device. Um, and they want $500, I guess. Um, the TV is inoperable. Uh, no matter what I press, menu, <coughs> excuse me, I have a cold. Um, yeah, it's basically, the TV can't be changed or nothing can be done with it. The only thing I could get it to do is I could use the gesture mode to bring up a the, the mouse pointer, but I can't move it past um, the like the middle of the screen, so I can't even get to anything where I might even ask, you know, I might figure out who I'm supposed to, you know, which scammers I'm supposed to give money to. So the TV I thought was bricked, no way around it. So I hop on Twitter and I complain about it. And like a day or two later, it you know catches on like wildfire. So uh, I'm gonna turn it off now. I'm actually gonna unplug it just to make sure it's completely off for a few seconds. So I did, um, LG did contact me. Um, now I did call LG on Christmas day and I got their tech support people, which really surprised me. Um, but they said that I would have to have a technician come out and we'd have to pay like, you know, 300 something bucks to have it, have someone fix it. And I was frustrated because I thought there should just be some factory reset. But in all the advice that I got on Twitter, and I mean, I got tons of responses, um, and a lot of people looking for the answer for me, nobody could find it. Um, and it wasn't until LG responded, I'm going to load my, uh, private messages here on Twitter. But they actually gave me an answer, which I think is going to work, because they actually have screenshots of it. So I'm going to demo this, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So they say to, when the power, TV's powered off, place one finger on the settings, 
then another finger on channel down, then release settings, and then remove channel down. So let's try that. Let's plug it back in. <clears throat> okay, put a little light back here so I could try this out. So it was hold down settings, volume down, and then release settings and release volume down. So let's try it. Settings, volume down, release, release. Okay, the TV turned on. And we have the recovery menu. So, um, let's see, white data, factory reset. Select it. It's a lot of no's. Let's say delete all user data. Yep, I've, I've had a lot of Android devices. My hatred of Android has been well earned. Um, so it looks like it's completely doing everything. Okay, that was fast. So let me try turning this off. Okay, off, off, off. I guess not. Unplug. Cross your fingers, cross your fingers. Come on. Like usual, we'll click on the button waiting. While this slows, I have to say, I really appreciate, again, all of the help. Um, um, even all the people who thought I was lying, it was it kind of made for a fun week, all of the activity around this tweet. And I really appreciate LG um, giving me an answer to get this TV working again.